Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to the Cup Code Server. As usual, I don't have a plan. I have absolutely no plans. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Nope, nope, not at all. No, nope, 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 nope. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and we're going to grab some stuff out of here because, you know, starting with empty inventory, ending with empty inventory always with an empty inventory so you know i'm not cheating all right so we grab this stuff uh what else do we got well we got some liquid essence here yeah i got four buckets there we go uh you know what let's go ahead well no yeah no no i don't know i'm about to say we'll pump this liquid essence into our our our, our, our essence thing over here but um i don't know i don't know if we need it no no not yet Let's see, we got some farms going on over here. This stuff is not growing. Oh, um, I do know, and this is, I, I have found, I have found another way of checking to see when players were last on. Um, unfortunately, there is no command in the game right now that I can use. So I'm having to go into the database. There, there is actually, I, I have noticed that there is some portions in my database that are actively updated when players log in and do stuff. And so I'm able, I've, I've written a query that allows me to look and see when people are on and when, how many times they've been on. And it, interesting, it, it tells me that I have been on here. I have actually logged into this server 436 times since I set up the database, which I set the database up. Uh, the database in question is the world protection mod. It, it, it logs all changes to the, to the, to the game. Um, anytime you break a block, move a block, put down a block, or pick up a block, it logs it to the database. Well, it actively logs the user activity too. And that allows me to look and see, okay, well, you've been logged in or you haven't been logged in and see when you were logged in. Which, like I said, I'm not doing it snoop. I'm doing it only so I can see if the server is active. And what I've discovered is that we do actually have active... Whoa. Okay, well, there you go. We do actually have active players. Um, for instance, we have a player that was just on on the 20th, other than myself. So there are people that are actually playing. They're logging in and they're playing the game. Um, and it, it's also helped me to just determine when you guys are logging in. Damn it. That sucked. All right, let's go back. So it helps me determine when you guys are logging in, and that helps because that lets me know when the best times for me to log in to play with you if I wanted to do that, which I really would like to do that. I would love nothing more than to play with some of you guys. So that's what I'm doing is I'm looking at the logs uh, in, the, in the SQL server, and I'm looking to see when you guys are logging in, when you're playing. That way I can determine when the best time would be for me to log in to play with you guys. Now, I do notice... Some of you guys are logging in at like 6 o'clock in the morning, my time. Um, I have... Uh, uh, damn it. I know that that's because you guys live in like Germany or England and... Uh, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. I, you got to remember, I do live in the East Coast of America and I do have a job. Actually, several of them. So, I'm usually in... I'm, almost always still sleeping at that time. I don't actually wake up until like 8 o'clock and then I run to work and I come to work. I go to work all day. I don't actually normally get home until about 6.30, 7 o'clock-ish. So the best time for me to log in is anytime after 6.30, 7 o'clock and, you know, before 2 a.m. because 2 a.m. is when I normally go to bed. But... That doesn't mean that I'm going to be logging in all the time. I also play on the Xbox with my brother. Uh, he lives in Augusta, Georgia. So I log in, and that's how me and him communicate, is we play on the Xbox. We have a survival world on the Xbox that we've been playing. And no, I'm not recording that, partially because it, it really is just a hassle to do so. But So that's what I do on the weekends. You know, I come home. I do my secondary job. I'm usually done with my second job by 7.30. And then I log in and I play with my brother for a while. And then I'll log out and either I'll go to bed after that or I'll play another game or something. So that's 
that's part of the some of the stuff that it's kind of a constraint to limit when I'm available to play online on the server. It looks like I need to eat. So, but I'm but even with that in mind, I'm still trying to see, you know, especially on Saturday, for instance, you know, what would be the best time for me to log in on Saturdays to record? Because I know some of you are not available to come in at 10 p.m. And that's part of the reason why today it is currently two in the afternoon. It is 2 p.m. Eastern time. So it's actually a perfect time for some of you in in the UK and and Germany to be logging in with me. But I know I didn't give you a whole lot of notice. Uh, I literally just tweeted out that I would be coming on the server. I, I did that like maybe 10, 20 minutes ago. So I don't really give a whole lot of notice that I'm coming on the server. So if you guys are wanting wanting to play with me on the server when I'm recording, by all means, even if you don't follow Twitter, even if you don't have a Twitter account, it's still good to go and find my Twitter account and watch it on Saturdays because I try to do all my recording on Saturday. So go look well, on Saturdays, look, watch my Twitter account, and you will see me tweet out when I'm getting ready to get on. Now, I haven't been doing it every time, and that's my fault. I apologize. I am going to actively try um, to remember to tweet when I'm getting on from now on. We need, but well, I'm, I'm gonna make them books right now, that because we're gonna need more books to make more spells. So that's what we're doing. So that's my promise to you is I'm going to actively try to tweet out when I'm going to be available. That way, it's not just you know a hit and miss, you know you hoping to find me and stuff. You'll actually be able to know when I'm coming on, and that's the idea. And I'm, I want to give you. A little more of an opportunity to know before when I'm getting on, as opposed to me tweeting and wait half an hour. You know, instead of me tweeting and then just jumping on the server and starting to record, I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to give you some heads up notice notification, as in you know I'll at least give you half an hour to an hour if not more. Uh, do I need feathers? No, we do not. Okay, I think we're going to have to go hunting for feathers, guys, because we need feathers to make books. I've got plenty of ink sacks, but we need feathers. So that's another thing, another thing. Okay, so we need to make a farm here. Um, do I have wood for it? Not a whole lot. Well, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to go. We're gonna we're gonna have to go cutting some trees down. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna make we're gonna make some tree make some. Trees, yes. We're going to make some fences and get us a nice little farm going here so we can start producing our own chicken feathers and stuff. What the heck? Dude, seriously? I have to use normal mode to break these guys? That's insane. I use diminished mode for all other trees. Is that all of it? No, it's not. Let's see. Any more up there? Looking for more trees. I'm, I'm just chopping this tree down, get some wood, and then we're going to go and look and chop some more trees down, but it looks like I might have to actually grab an axe for some of those trees. Uh, and I also want to try... Hold on. Can we make... I haven't done a whole lot with Witchwood, so I don't know if Witchwood operates the same. Okay, we're good on that. Good. All right, so let's go grab an axe because I don't want to be wasting all my mana just breaking some Witchwood trees down. So let's see if we need an axe to go chop them down quicker. And I do not have one. One, two, three. Grab three of those and two sticks. Which, you know, whatever. I have two sticks right here. Hey, there we go. Do, 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 do. Why do I still have two in my hand? Oh, duh. Durr. And there's our axe. There we go. So now we're going to go chop down some trees. So that's what we're going to do this episode, I think, is we're going to go tree hogging. Tree lumberjacking, that's it. We're going to go lumberjacking. We're going to chop down some of these trees over here. And we're going to start making ourselves a chicken coop. 
so that we can have some place to grow chickens and get feathers and maybe we'll grab some of these cows and throw them in there too. Now we have our own chickens and our own cows and I don't have to just keep going hunting them down. And it looks like it's getting nighttime, so I might want to be careful while I'm doing this. Oh no, it's a tree with a branch. I hate trees with branches. Chop. Do 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 do. Is that all? No, God, man, this thing is hot, tall. And I know it's dark out here, man. Heck, I might have to go sleeping. Any more trees with branches? Any more branches coming off this thing? All right, that looks like it's it. So let's chop these down. Back down we go. All right, let's head back to the house. We're gonna go ahead and sleep through the night, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But I don't want to be in the forest if I'm going to be fighting. That's the one thing. I want to stay out here in the open where I can see what's going on. Oh, look, there's experience over there. Let's go get that experience. We could use that experience. Look, I'm up to level 51 because I'm not using my experience. So maybe that's another thing when they do. We'll have to start making oh, an enchantment table. Take him out over there. You would think that you'd have to have perfect aim to shoot him, but apparently there are invisible blocks that comprise of him. So you can shoot where the invisible blocks are and you'll still get you'll still damage him, so that's good. Pick that up. Hello pig. Any more enemies out here? Out here, out here. Hello out there, out there, out there. Ooh, I see a spider. He's a good ways away, isn't he? Get over there. I got you. I got you now. It was the damn grass, man. It was hitting the grass, not the spider. I think that's what it was. Okay, we don't... Whoa, yeah, here we go. We don't want to get lost. Uh-oh, we're out of mana. Swim, 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 swim. Sideways, you son of a brute, go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, dang. Okay, well, as you see, it is responding a little faster to me today. Um, obviously, nobody's at the house, so that kind of helps. It means that my wife is not watching Netflix, and neither is my child. So I have a little bit faster service. All right, come on, warp me, warp me, warp me. Move, move, thank you. Damn it, spider! Jump! Jump! Let's get out of here. Uh, house, which way? Oh, shoot! I forgot which way the house is. Who's hitting me? Go away! Go away! I'm not bothering you. Go away! Double tap, go! Oh. Alright, seriously, this is unfair. I am not... Urgh! Oh, shoot. I did not mean to hit that. Um. Sh ah, shucky darn. Wrong world. Hold on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Respawn. That's what I meant to do. 
Damn it. Uh, well, we're going to have to go back because I don't know where I was from that. So. La, 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 la. Catch up with me. Get my shit out of here. Get my shit and go. Get your shit and go. Get off me. I'm in the water. You can't hurt me out here. All right. Well, it looks like... Um, I think we can take these two out and then we'll be safe out here in the water. There's one gone. And we're out of mana. Jeez! All right, all right, all right. We'll have to start bringing some mana potions or something. All right, let's fix stuff here. Oh, that's right, the sword broke. Uh. All right, what does this take? This takes 45 for one shot. So that means I can pull two shots right now. You make every shot count. Just wait for mana, waiting for mana, waiting for mana. Two, three, four, five. Boom! Don't you worry, spider. I got your number. I got your number. You're gonna die now. Gotcha! <laughs> Only one or two more hits. Only a couple more hits. I'll have you soon. You're gonna die. There is death in your future. Certain death is sure to come. I see the future. I am a magic user. Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Well, we have killed him. We are good to go. Um, I guess. I mean, I could sit here all night and just wait for the sun to come up. But where's the moon at? How much time do we have? Okay, the moon is on the setting angle. It is going down. It's right there. It is going down. So the sun will be coming up soon. That is good. Um, alternatively, we could just slash home survival. And that will warp into the house. And while we're here, let's go to sleep. sleep well bad dreams oh my god it was real i lost my sword oh <laughs> sorry all right we need we're gonna need a new sword um so to do that we need more more iron i guess i need more need a handle one handle let's get a handle on it all right so we have a new sword there's a new sword in town organize here Throw this back in here. Let's dump some of this stuff off over here. And if I remember correctly, oh yeah, we we leveled up at some point. So let's go check. All right, we have three more pints. Points. Pints. We have three more pints that we can assign to our drink. We have three more points that we can assign to our magic levels. And it looks like somehow we have been completely reset. So that is good and bad. I, I'm... I don't know how this happened, but okay, well, first off, we know we need projectile. Um, we're also going to need in utility, well, there's touch right there, and dig, which we already have, so we're just, oh, okay, see, we're not losing any points for, for learning them, because we already have it, so we're good on that. So let's see what else we have. We do not have, re I like mana regen. Infinity gains, yes, we'll take that as well. Uh, mana region two, we can't get color. I mean, I could give color. Just so you know, color is it literally makes colorizes the spell. It just makes it different color. And uh, I don't know about that. Let's see, target non-solid blocks. I mean, guess that would be like targeting water, for instance, or air. 
Um, light. Okay, so we do know the light spell. Binding, not known. Night vision, not learned. Yeah, we might want that later. Let's see, we have self is known. Leap is not known, but regeneration is known. So that's good. Heal is not learned. So we'll grab that. All right, so now we're down to one. So it, it's slowly catching up to us here. Oh, it's gravity. We have frost. We have magic damage. What is this? Drown? No, I don't need that. I don't want that. We have fire. Now we're very limited on what we can use here. Um, leap, which I suppose we could use that. That would be nice. What else we have? You kind of have to pick what spells you want later and, and start working towards them now. But I definitely know. See, this is a multiplayer thing, so True Sight will be of, of assistance here. So we're going to go ahead Night Vision. And then later on, hopefully, we'll be able to get some True Sight spell. And that'll lead towards other things like invisibility, random teleport, blink, and, you know, some weird stuff like that. So that's what we're going to go with for now. Um, let's go exit out of this. Let's see what spells we can create. We have projectile, touch, and self. Now we have, we already have mana shot, regen, and dig shot. So let's see, physical damage, magic damage, dig, light, regen, frost damage, heal, and night vision. Now... I don't know what is necessary for night vision, but we can look it up. Components, night vision, potion of night vision. Okay, so we'd have to make a potion of night vision and, and merge it with a green rune in order to make a night vision spell. So that, that's that's fair enough. We can do that. Light, on the other hand, we're going to have to go to the nether because as you see, we need sunstone and glowstone. And sunstone is hard to get. It's hard to obtain. Uh, best place to find sunstone is in the nether, but it's not exactly a safe maneuver to do it. So to do that, we're going to have to go mining. We're going to have to get a bunch of obsidian, which means I'm going to need a diamond pickaxe, which means I'm going to need diamonds, which we don't have any of. So don't I have a mine shaft already over here? Yes, right here. I really should put a gravel path that's what we're going to do let's let's see what gravel we have let's make it pretty let's make it pretty over here we have any gravel oh it would be in this chest wouldn't it we have yes we do have gravel good all right let's go make our path all right so i'm going to leave that there we are going to put in some stairways right there eventually There we go. It's shaping up nicely. Now, when I break this last one, it's going to break the door, so I'm going to have to pick that up and replace it as well, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and replace that door real quick while we're here. And now it's just as simple as filling in the path. And I honestly think this is a great idea. It looks nice, but it's also... I, I, actually, looking at the clock, we're almost out of time for this episode. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build this path all the way around the house. And then we're going to call it an episode right there. So let's just go ahead and get it done with for now.
All right, seriously. I know you don't hear it, but there's a tree that's that's kind of edging up against my house here in in the real world, not in the game. And it's making some weird scratching noises against the side of my window. Sounds a little creepy, actually. All right, there we go. So now we're going to fill this in with gravel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. I think that's just right. Just nice. There we go. That's nice. We're out. Hold on. We gotta get some more gravel. We should have some more in here, I think. Don't we? Don't we? I have five more pieces. Is that really it? That's all I've got? Oh my god. We're gonna have to go gravel mining. That's insane. I have never had to go gravel mining. All right, well, let's put this there. So we, yeah, we need more gravel. So we're gonna have to go gravel mining. That is the one thing I have never ran out of before. That's insanity. Looking for gravel. Looking for gravel. Way, 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 way. Gravel. Way down. There we go. So we found gravel way down here. And I don't have a torch. And you, oh, it does work. Okay. Uh, I was just saying in the other episode that I didn't think that it created flint from the spell, but apparently it does. That's the first time I've seen to do it, though. That up. I hear lava. You hear lava? You hear it? I hear it faintly. It's like it's real close to us. Though. Real close. Just a little bit more. We should have enough. Now right, let's go pick up that torch and lay it back down. There we go. And I think that should be enough. So let's go place that gravel real quick. Climbing, climbing, climbing. And if you notice, I have one of my essences in the top left corner, or top right corner, sorry, is about, is at 81%. And that's, you don't want it to get to 100. Because once you get to 100, then you have to use an essence book, I think it's called in order to bring it back down. So we are going to end up having to make the essence books, or I don't know what they're called. I, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on their actual name. All right, well, that's it, guys. And our path around the house is done. Uh, let's go ahead and dump this stuff off. And we've gotten some... In fact, I'll go ahead and do it now. Gotten this. Uh, the purpose of this is so that we can make fences. And we're going to make a ton of fences there. There we go. And next we're going to want to make some... I, I guess we're going to need some um, fence gates. I'm going to need a couple of those. All right. And to facilitate that, we'll need this. So let's go one, two, three. I think that that's more than enough. I think three. Actually, probably need one more. Hold on. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, no, three's good. Three's good. Three's more than plenty. Three fence gates will be more than plenty. So maybe in the next episode, we can start building our, our little uh, chicken coop and, then, and our cow pen. And then we'll go get some cows and some chickens to go into it. Hold up, this can go into another chest. Um, at some point, I need to reorganize my chests. 
like I don't need dirt in this chest here. So we're gonna throw this over here. All right, well, oh, hunger. Might as well eat before we leave. Let's eat. Nom, 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 nom. All right, that'll be it for this episode. Um, as always, like, comment, share. Let me know you care. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.